Hey everyone, it's Chloe from the Arizona Science Center, and today we're going to talk a little bit about skulls. Well, what is a skull? Do you have a skull? I think you do. So if you feel your head and you feel something kind of hard, feel all around, that hard thing is actually your skull. And it's keeping your brain safe. It's also what holds your teeth in place, so that way you can do some good chewing. Speaking of chewing, if you put your hands on your head like this and you feel your skull, if you also chew around, you can kind of feel the muscles that are attached to your skull, okay? So you have lots of muscle that also kind of holds your skull around, but what we're going to talk about are our animal skulls that we have here. So we have a pretty decent assortment here at the Arizona Science Center. If you ever come and you see us do what's called skull investigation, we're going to have our skulls out. But let's start with this skull, all right? So you can see that it has some kind of horn or antlers, right? This is actually going to be a deer. But how can we tell it's a deer? Well, look at its eyes. Are its eyes facing forward or to the side? So if it's a predator, usually its eyes are gonna be facing forward. It's gonna have really good vision and that way it's going to look for its prey like this. But if it's a prey, it's going to have some pretty side facing eyes. And that's so that way it can see kind of like a widescreen view of what's around them. So that way they can tell if there's movement over here, then they can quickly run away. They don't have to get too close to their predators. But another way that you can tell what kind of animal it is, is by its teeth. So does it look like this deer has some really sharp meat shredding teeth? Or does it have some smooth kind of plant grazing, shearing teeth? I think they look pretty flat in comparison to some other meat shredding teeth. Okay, so let's take a look at our next skull. So this is going to have the top cranium part, and it's also going to have its mandible, and that is how it fits together. But what does this look like? Does these have some big sharp teeth for breaking into meat, or does it have some smooth teeth? Well, this is actually a javelina. So it has these kind of sharp tusks. You can see where they've worn away on the insides. And javelinas are going to be using those tusks either for fighting, but also for digging up some root vegetables. So they also have some really nice kind of flat teeth over here. And moving on, we also have this. So this skull is not really complete, but what can we tell about this skull, even though we don't have a whole skull or a whole cranium part to look at? Well, we can see that it has something on its head. Is it the same as our deer? No, right? So what's different about them? Well, our deer has this kind of, what well, almost looks like a callus, right? So this deer has antlers. So these antlers can fall off during different seasons or if they were to get in a little sticky situation and get caught on there, they can shed their antlers. But this is an antelope. It actually has horns. So you don't get to see that kind of callus over area where the antler will grow back. So you're not going to get to see that where the antler grows back. You're just going to get that nice smooth area, right? And this is going to grow with the antelope over its lifetime. But we can also tell what kind of animal it is based on this little part over here. So this is actually part of that eye area, right? That eye socket that we have too. This is it. So does it look like it's facing forward? Not really, right? This is kind of facing on the side. Now I also have this really big thing. What does this look like? Take a look from the side, from the front. Well, it does have those kind of big teeth, right? Those are usually a good indicator of a meat eater. But if we flip it over, it also has some of these teeth. Hmm. I think that means that this animal might be an omnivore. And it is. So this is actually a bear, right? Bears eat all kinds of fish, but they do also really love berries and things of the sort. So they're going to be eating a lot of that. So I have this bear skull, and when you flip it over, you can get a good look at its teeth. You can also kind of flip it back over and see its orbits. So 
does it look like it has forward facing eyes or side facing eyes? In comparison, right, here's our antelope. These are pretty forward facing and that's because bears don't have too many predators in the wild. Now this skull looks very different to me. This doesn't have teeth like any of the others that we've seen, right? It mostly just has a lot of those shearing teeth, so it's gonna be getting in there for meat. I think this is going to be a meat eater. What do you think? Yeah, this is actually a coyote. So this has forward facing eyes, as you can see. It also has those shredding teeth. And if you take a look at this, this is its eardrums. So you can tell that a coyote has some pretty good sense of hearing. It's gonna have to be listening out for its prey. Now we also have this, right? Similar teeth and a very similar looking skull. This is actually going to be a fox. So foxes are pretty small in comparison to coyotes, right? but they still have the same kind of teeth. So they're probably eating similar food. They also have very similar eye sockets, right? In comparison, look at how much more round this skull is, right? Also similar teeth there, similar forward facing eyes, but you can see that the eyes are much larger. What do we think this is? Well, this is actually a bobcat. So bobcats, just like dogs, are going to eat meat. They're also going to be able to eat some plants if they'd want to as well. But you can tell that they've got those good, sharp teeth for biting into other meaty things. On the larger side, we have this mountain lion. Let's take a look at the similarities. They have very similar eye sockets, and they also have very similar teeth. This one's much larger. You can also take a look at these eardrums as well. Do you see how good hearing those mountain lions have? Right? So today we've learned a lot about skulls. We've learned about how we can tell if they're predators or prey by their eyes, if they're facing forward or if they face to the side. We're also telling by their teeth if they have teeth that are good for chewing meat or if they have teeth that are good for chewing plants. So thank you so much for taking a look at our skulls today here at the Arizona Science Center. If you would like to have a few more resources, please feel free to check out our website at azscience.org.